Welcome to TestRigger, accelerate your testing while eliminating test maintenance. Let's create a free trial account and your first test. On TestRigger.com, we'll scroll to the bottom of the page. Locate the pricing link and click it. We have three options. We want the free public plan. Click start a trial. Enter in the required information. First name, last name, phone number, enter your email, a password, confirm your password. Enter your industry. I'm in QA, so I'll do that. And finally, your company name. Click register now. An email with instructions was sent to your address. Let's check our email and verify it. Open your email. Check for the support email. Open it and click to verify. Congratulations, you have a TestRigger account. Before we create our new test suite, we want to download TestRigger's test case recorder tool. It's a Chrome extension. Open a new tab, search for TestRigger's test case recorder, locate the link for the web store, click it, in the Chrome Web Store, we want TestRigger's Test Case Recorder. Add to Chrome. Add the extension. When asked if you want to sync all your computers, don't do that right now, so I'm going to close that. However, we do want to add TestRigger as a pinned option to our browser. I pin it, then we're done. Let's close a couple tabs. We can now create our new test suite. For this test suite, we are going to test www.incline-update.com. This is my test site. Specifically, we are going to test a link. For our new test suite, let's make the test suite name Links Testing. The type of testing we can do, we are going to do desktop web testing. We can also do mobile web testing and native and hybrid mobile. For the URL to run tests on, let's use mine. For testing credentials, for username and password, I don't need these, so I'm going to leave them blank. For OS, let's run our tests on OS X. And for the browser, let's leave it at Chrome, but we can also test Safari and Firefox. For generate tests automatically based on auto discovery, I'm going to leave this as zero. Then we're going to click create test suite. Congratulations, your test suite is created. We've created our first test suite, links testing. However, there are no test cases yet. In order to create the first test case, let's go to our website under test, inclineupdate.com. Then we will go to the test rigor Chrome extension and select it. A new dialog will appear which says new window and tab strategy. Let's keep the default option for now and we will click the start new recording button. Once I click it, every interaction I make with the website will be tracked. So. Start new recording. For this test, I want to click the Incline Village Farmers Market link. It will open a new browser tab with a new URL, laketahoemarkets.com. When you see the test rigor control flashing, that means we are recording and tracking changes. Now we are going to stop it. Stop recording. And you will see in plain English that we clicked Incline Village Farmers Market on the original page. We're part of the Links Testing Suite, and our description is Link Test 1. At this point, we have a basic test case. However, I want to make it a little more robust. Earlier, I made the clear English statement of check that 
URL contains this URL, which is the URL of the new tab. That being said, I'm going to add and run this test case to my test trigger test suite. I'll click add and run. The new test case is created. Then I'm going to go back to my test rigger and I will see that your test cases are in the queue and it is listed down here at the bottom. Our first test case has just finished. We know this by last run shows finished. The test case has green, which means it passed. So all good success. But what happens if I take a production change and push it to my site? That production change has a bug. So we can retest after the production change. And let's see what happens. Your scenario is scheduled for retest. Your tests are in the queue. So our test ended and there are failures. The last run shows failed. We have errors. The red means it failed. So let's investigate. We go to errors. We can drill down to the details, and we can find a step-by-step -step instruction of what actually we did. We went to the website. We clicked on the link. We were supposed to get this page, but we had an error. We show the errors information and we see we have a spelling error in the URL. It's supposed to be Lake Tahoe Markets. Somebody forgot to put the Tahoe in there. So what we've shown is creating tests, passing the tests, introducing a development change, retesting and get a failure. We can track this the whole way with a step-by-step -step instruction of what you've done. This is how test rigor works.